Hello, Dr. Jay Wilkins, and today we are going to be demonstrating and discussing the Meridian Medical Digital Pulse Wave Analyzer, or DPA. And we're going to be showing how the machine operates, as well as going through the results and how you interpret those results. So first thing we want to do is make sure that the patient or client is sitting there calmly and uh, both feet are flat on the floor and uh, we can use any finger. Uh, this particular patient's fingers are, are rather small and we, we found out that her thumb works out best. So I like to use one of the fingers that's closest to the heart but you can really use uh, any finger on any hand is okay. And so once we have the clip on there, then we look at the blue screen there and we make sure that all our parameters are up and running, uh, which the, the heart will be beating, that will show the pulse rate, will show the uh, hydration levels here, as well as we have the grade and the number would also be up and, and going. So we know that we got everything is uh, established, then we can hit the reset button and that starts the test. We're doing a one minute time test. You can do more minutes if you want to, but we found that uh, doing a one minute test usually is sufficient to be able to get all the information that you need. So the, the test really shows about nine different things, but they would include uh, the ejection time. It, shoot, it would also show the recognition rate, which is similar to an EKG, does something similar to an echo and checks how long it takes the aortic valve to open and close. It checks blood hydration. We look for aortic stiffness with the DPA. We look to see what the overall stiffness is and overall blood flow of the large, small, and peripheral arteries. So it's a great early warning detection device for uh, ones who want to see where their, their own health is or for doctors in their office for their patient's health. It gives a very easy to understand grading system, just like uh, back in the day when they used to do that in school. A is the best. With this one, G is the worst grade, and it shows you where you're at in between there and what the indications would be based on each of those grades, as well as uh, with the grading system, it helps you determine a biological age. So we see after the one minute test, it automatically spits out the report there. DPA can be interfaced with a computer to give a color report and you can also do other things with it but for the sake of demonstration today we're just going to use the, uh, the uh, printout here. But what we look at first of all is the recognition rate and we can see that uh, the heart beat 73 times in one minute, 66 of those pulses were recognized. So that's uh, well over 80% recognition which would tell us that the electrical system of the heart looks good. And so again, sort of like a mini EKG, if that was less than 80%, certainly uh, anywhere around the 50% mark, we might recommend that they go see uh, their cardiologist maybe for a full EKG if they so decided. The next thing that we look at is the ejection time. And the normal is between 260 to 380 milliseconds. And we see with hers, the ejection time was 301. So it took uh, those are, again, in milliseconds, that's how long it took the aortic valve to open and close. And so indications, too, uh, if it's too fast, could be anxiety or even uh, possible thyroid issues. And then if it's too high, then that can be an indication the heart's not outputting like it should and possibly also stenosis within the uh, aortic artery. The next thing that we look at is the pulse rate. And as shown here, anything between a 65 and an 80 is considered normal. And uh, her being, you know, 75 when it printed out, that's well within the normal range. And then uh, we look at the PTG waveform. And the things that we're looking for here is the uh, um, notch. It's called a diacrotic notch, which would be between the systolic and the diastolic wave pattern. And we see that she doesn't really have one, but it's straight up and straight down. Uh, we do see that the, um, each heartbeat is regular um, in that these are all uniform, so it has a regular heartbeat. With an irregular heartbeat, you'll see more abnormalities there. And then the APG wave pattern, um, again, what we're really measuring is to see how the infrared light is absorbed into the nail bed and that's a good indicator then of overall circulation and stiffness within the blood vessel. 
And so A grade is the best, G grade is the worst, and we see that uh, this printed out as an F80. So that is helpful in determining the biological age. An A grade is anywhere between a 30, or excuse me, a 20 and a 30, B 30 and 40, uh, and then on up there to where a G would be uh, upwards of a 90-year-old biological age. So this is actually with an F80, the biological age of an 80-year-old. Uh, then we go to the circulation analysis, and the first reading is large artery circulation, small artery circulation, and then peripheral or capillary circulation. So uh, then you can uh, then make suggested lifestyle changes with that. We could see how if somebody was overweight, how losing weight would benefit them and doing a test later on after they lost the weight, a doctor could look at this and say that there'd be certain medications that might be helpful. Uh, as a naturopath, I'm more into the nutraceutical things and there's definitely things like arginine, citrulline, various uh, amino acids like that, certain antioxidants, vitamins C, E, pomegranate, those are great things that can be used to help to uh, be able to actually support nitric oxide and keep it from breaking down. Anything that increases nitric oxide, so even if they want to exercise program, made dietary changes. This is a way that you could do screening now, early warning detection, and then do screening later on in 90 days or so and see with, about what they're doing if it's actually effective. So excellent, I think every doctor's office should have one as a really a pre way of screening people before they have clinical events, certainly before they have symptoms to see what their overall cardiovascular health.